வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஐபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இந்த லாஸ்ட் செஷன் வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் ஆல் கீ ஃபீல்ட்ஸ் இன் எம்ஆர்பி ஒன் வியூ கண்டினியூவிங் தட் வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் எம்ஆர்பி ஏரியா இன் எம்ஆர்பி ஒன் வியூ திஸ் இஸ் சம்திங் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் இட் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ மீட்டிங் மெனி ஆஃப் தி பிளானிங் ரிலேட்டட் திங்ஸ் ஸோ இட் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஹவு இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு ஹெல்ப் as a purchasing people also you can uh, see how the requirements are coming from different different mrp areas and how to fulfill them so in that aspect mm people also should understand this before going to the session let us see the answers for the quiz in the last session so what is mrp group mrp group is grouping of materials from mrp point of view so we can assign special control parameters this is especially useful in the planning aspects who are involved like you know you may be working as mm and pp together as a user and consultant for you it will be very useful because maintaining parameters maintaining if you have to change any parameter changing in one mrp group that will be updated on all the metal there are many uh, features are there we discussed in the last session what is abc classification like no the abc classification has to be updated manually or it can be done by system that is what the question here okay so abc classification can be done only by not only by uh, manually it can be done by system also so what is this abc classification it is a inventory classification so there is a separate transaction to do this classification which we'll discuss later but it is possible to update by system also while selecting mrp type reorder planning like a vb v1 mrp types which field is mandatory to fill so when you select any mrp type with reorder reorder point is mandatory field you have to fill it what is the purpose of planning time fence planning time fence helps to define the range within which material requirement planning does not create or delete any procurement proposals why did we bring this this is to avoid any frequent changes because yesterday you would have released the order to a supplier or you would have released order to the production today itself if you are changing that will create a lot of confusion to avoid this we can have some period like for next 4 days or 5 days we should not change any change any change in these orders which means that we are bringing some smoothness in the process that is the purpose of the planning time fence what is the role of mrp controller mrp controller is the person responsible for material planning in the plant we discuss purchasing group a person who is responsible to take care of the buyer no responsible for the entire buying operations here mrp controller is playing important role he is responsible right from planning uh, follow up the production whether it received in stock in some aspects i can also recommend you should be responsible until he is going from the plant it should be like a end to end responsible for the materials that will give the complete accountability for each material so defining this mrp controller is very 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 important for any organization so what are the parameters maintained in lot size data section so we have a lot lot size data section now there are many parameters are defined understanding each parameter is very important please go through them one by one because how system is proposing purchase requirements how system is giving and uh, no uh, uh, that uh, understanding that quantity the frequency these things are very very important because many industries many companies this is the problem people are facing and uh, there is a conflict between planning and purchase because of this like a lot sizing procedure minimum lot size maximum lot size maximum stock level fixed lot size assembly scrap percentage and rounding value these are the parameters. we discuss all these things in the last session what is assembly scrap percentage it is a percentage of scrap that may happen during assembly or manufacturing of a product if you are uh, producing some 10 100 numbers of component you are expecting two numbers as a uh, in the production there will be some wastage of this component then 2% we have to add similarly when you are assembling a product maybe 100 product you are assembling if 1% is going to be rejection that you have to add this is for the entire production output that is the scrap here what is the purpose of rounding value so rounding value helps to define how much quantity to be rounded off to be done for the proposed planned quantity right a planning proposal may be 10 numbers sorry 15 numbers but it has rounded off to 20 or it may be 150 it has rounded up to 200 like that when we want we have to do it this is for the purpose of having a, uh, a, a smooth uh, supplies and also smooth production it may be useful in many areas rounding value 
So as part of MRP one view, we will be discussing MRP area in this session. Now let's come to the uh, discussion. That uh, first, let us see what is the MRP at the plant level. We are having one product which is uh, produced at uh, one uh, production line and which is having its own dependent uh, independent requirement and dependent requirement. It is in one store location. There is another production which is produced you know, in another production line or manufacturing line. Again, it's having its own uh, requirements and it's in store location too. And then we are having some other requirements like components which are required for some spares or something like that that is in store location 3. And also we are having uh, subcontracting requirements. All these things are combined and they are planned at the plant level MRP. From MRP we are getting planned orders, purchase requests and schedule lines. This is the output. This is for what? For in-house production, external procurement and inter-plant transfer. So in this process, whatever we plan, all these planning are considering one kind of a parameter only. We cannot have a different planning for different things and the same material or same production line, if you want to plan them in different way, it is not possible to do them. All these things we have to do at the same way only. And also MRP run, we have to apply the same method for all these materials. So there are some you know, flexibility is not there when you are having this kind of plant load MRP. So that is why the MRP area wise planning is there. So what is happening? We can create MRP area for each production line or each product like MRP area 1, MRP area 2, MRP area 3, MRP area 4. We can add MRP separately for each MRP areas. So all these things you know, again the output will be same the plan order purchase equation schedule line, but for individual MRP areas. So we will have the flexibilities. Let's see. The advantages are there like uh, each uh, particular store, store location or group of store locations we can combine and call them as one MRP area. Please note that one store location can be assigned to one MRP area only. So MRP area wise plan can be inserted through PIR. See that is also option the one material with one MRP area we can give one plan another MRP area we can give another plan also there is an option. And for each MRP area different type of planning parameters can be applied. And also MRP running parameters can be defined for each MRP area individually. Uh, we get flexibility to plan the product or manufacturing or assembly lines you know. Uh, based on these things a different kind of uh, MRP run based on the nature of the business for each product. And also using MRP area we can eliminate the MRP run for a specific store location. For example if we don't want to run MRP for a store location we can eliminate using this. With the MRP live MD01N planning for all MRP areas under the scope of planning parameters will be covered and the planning will be done. I mean it will be running everything in MD01N. If you see MD01 there is a scope of planning where we can define the MRP areas run the MRP for individually. But here if you do the plan in the MD61 right MD MRP area wise system will do the planning and cover everything because of the S4 HANA capacity the data handling the speed in the system there is no need of running separate planning for individual MRP areas. System will at the same time system will take the parameters for each MRP area. You can note that we can define individual parameters like MRP type, reorder point, MRP controller, the lot size procedure, minimum maximum lot size, special procurement. All these things we can define for specific MRP area, right? So using this, we can define the parameters. Though system is running MRP for everything. But what is the specific MRP area will get the proposal accordingly we can procure the materials or produce the materials. Minute. And uh, <clears throat> again MRP with MRP area is not activated until MRP area has been assigned to the material. Right. If you are not assigned the MRP area to metal system will continue to run the plant at uh, plant level MRP at the plant level MRP. If you assign the MRP area then system can run the system so the planning can be run at the plant level and also at the assigned MRP area also. And uh, how to convert this regular planning to MRP area planning? Through customizing, we have to convert the planning file entries from the plant level planning to MRP area planning and activate MRP for MRP area and then create MRP area, right? And please take care while creating MRP area. We should consider the business needs only on need basis we have to create MRP area. So start with minimum number of MRP areas, then if it is required, add a few more areas. And these MRP areas are different types. For example, type 01 is at plant level MRP area, type 2 is a store level, uh, store location level MRP area, type 3 is a subcontracting level MRP area and uh, all these MRP areas can be assigned to metal master. How is that? In MRP 1 view, you know, we see in the bottom there is MRP area. By clicking this MRP area, we can assign the MRP area what is required there. 
and in this mrp area itself we have this mrp 1 view mrp 2 view forecast view this uh, and also the consumption values for different mrp area different values can be fixed so you now this is how we are getting the more flexibility and uh, a caution also has to be taken because uh, when it is required one metal is assigned to more than one mrp area we have to be very careful that uh, the metal is not planned doubled or tripled you know, that should not increase the inventory so we have to be very careful for example a component may be used in a production and also it may be used for spares so the normally what we can do is we can create one sort of location for the spares location and the spares location can have a reorder point in which stock will be always filled when it is uh, depleted based on the demand no it, it will be like a demand driven uh, planning there in the mrp area of a uh, spare store location and the main store location it will be planning based on this demand driven which is that uh, reorder point which is coming from this uh, spare location and also regular bui like that we can control the inventory and also we will ensure that the supply of uh, spares are done within 24 hours because the after sales service is very very important we have to meet the requirement of customers that is a very important area no so at the same time we should not increase inventory so we have to be very careful when we are doing this so we discussed what is the difference between plant level mrp and mrp area uh, level planning and we went through different features and advantages of mrp level planning and also we saw the steps how to move from plant level to mrp area level planning and how to assign the uh, material to mrp areas so it is time to go to the quiz for this session one store location can be assigned to more than one mrp area true or false for one material planning has to be done in two different store locations how can it be done that was in the same plant huh? for a question number 90 i am asking about in same plant for two different locations we need to have planning differently how to do it and what are the three different kind of mrp areas how do we define them right these are the quiz questions for this session the answers will discuss in the next session in the next session we will discuss in detail various parameters in mrp2 view please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents suggest your friends and colleagues to subscribe to our channel so that they can also get the benefit thank you see you in the next session take care bye